40 years after the passing of iconic Apala music singer Ainla Omowura, his story and his music will hit the big screens as acclaimed filmmaker Tunde Kehlani creates his biopic. Details in this opening report. Sonorous Akpala music reigns the air at the first bank sponsored premiere for Ayinla, a loose musical biopic based on the life of Ayinla Yusuf, popularly known as Ayinla Omaura. Some of the prominent cast and guests arrive in their best Yoruba party impression, grooving to the sound of the man who was part of the Akpala golden era. <laughs> Directed by the acclaimed Tunde Kalani, a staunch fan of the musician and lover of culture, Anyila charts a new course for storytelling in Nollywood. I look around and I thought that it was time to do a story on Anyila Mamura. Unfortunately, it's been gone the whole 40 years, but the idea to make it very came to me from about 2012. But there was not enough information, there was scant information on Ila Mahura. So it took me a long time to really know, to get to know what was left of him, you know. And I think it's about time that African filmmakers should maybe pan slightly to look at our intangible heritage. Our great stories are yet to come because we are not looking where we should be looking. We are not telling the right stories we should be telling. And this is what we have to do, you know. We took something that is so local and it goes global instantly. So I think that's a lesson for the next generation of filmmakers. All over Bekuta, we went around anybody who knew anything about Aina Maura. And I see him only twice in my life. And, you know, they were just, I didn't, um, there's no interaction or anything. I just saw him when he was playing in Havana. Actor Adedimeji Latif played the title character, and his first challenge was to understand the character and his music. <laughs> it wasn't easy. Number one, I am not a fan of Akwala music. I don't listen to Akwala music. I'm I don't know nothing about Apala music. I'm not a musician either. I just have a little knowledge about music. So, um, first when I got the script, and I realized I was going to be singing, and then I'm performing about six tracks, I was going to, I was going to reject it. <laughs> because I was scared of, I don't want to, I don't want it to be a flop. But again, I see it as, this is something you have never done before. And then this is a story of a legend. So you're, you're working on that path to become one as well. Why don't you take up the challenge and see how far you can go? From that moment, I started listening to the song, morning, afternoon, night, morning, afternoon, night, morning, afternoon, night. And then at a point, if I have to, before I say one or two words, I'll sing Gaila song. Before I talk to anybody, I will, I will be speaking in a tone and all of that. So. By the time I got to the location, I was all about Taila. Nothing is interesting again except Taila, so it was easy for me to pull it. Unlike Adedi Meji, Debo Adebayo, popularly known as Mr. Macaroni, is well acquainted with the story of Ayinla and played his close associate and manager Bayewu, who was also convicted for killing Ayinla in a barroom brawl. My father is a big fan of Ayinla, so I've heard some of his music. So of course I had to read more, do research, okay, who was this person, how did he live his life, what happened, this, that. In all, it was, it was beautiful, it was beautiful. Um, I, he is someone that um, did a lot in promoting the Yoruba culture. You know, um, I mean, you need to listen to a lot of, of his music and know what they represent. Um, Ayala was able to um, attract a lot of people, you know, to the Yoruba, to the Yoruba sound and the Akpala sound, which was very beautiful, you know, because then it drew a lot of people. Ayala brought a lot of people into the world of Akpala. <laughs> Even though Ayinla gained prominence for his musical excellence, he's also notorious for his flaming temper and affinity to start a fight. Omaomi Dada played the role of one of the ladies in his life. 
Um, I grew up on Angela Mawira's music. My dad is a huge lover of it. I didn't know so much about his story until I read the script. And I was so shocked, you know, how um, the, t the turn of events for him. I was so shocked, I was so surprised, but I was more excited, you know, to, to, to understand him and to live in his time. I play the character Deborah, and Deborah is a catalyst to the life and certain events, you know, in Ayala's life. And um, she was very pivotal to um, him. And, you know, as every woman, you have the power to make or break. Deborah did one of either of these two. So I'd urge every woman, you are strong, you are powerful, you are great, you can make, you can break. Please choose to always make and not break. Welcome all of you to this uh, very important event. This project stands out in the industry and it is no surprise that it has the backing of one of Nigeria's most prominent financial institution, First Bank. As First Bank, um, we actually have an initiative called First Heart where we support the creative industry end to end. The entire value chain of the first, um, the entire value chain of the creative industry. So for us, this is not the first time that we are doing this. We've supported several initiatives and we continue to support this kind of initiative. We believe that the creative industry is an industry that can potentially help the country to address poverty and you know provide employment and that for us is what is most important first bank we've been here for 127 years and the reason why we have survived and we have succeeded and we remain a dominant player is because we are woven into the fabric of the society we take development and growth of the economy very seriously Ayila also stars Kula Folayo, Bimbo Manuel, Adelaoye, and many others. Omowura lost London for a musical tour. Even when you go to Ayakwala in London, I want to go to Ayakwala or London. Ah, London. And this is going to be Ayila's debut.